That's why doing doing the Gina Liver Livy program over and over again. Because some people are like, I'm doing it for the seventh time. Yeah, please do it for the seventieth time. <laughs> Keep on doing it because there's there's never a time that we don't need it. How would you get people to understand? why they want to make change and why carrying excess fat is not the healthiest. Like, what are you seeing the impact on the body? I think the definition has to be what we mean by excess fat, um, excess fat that's causing disease. If someone has a hard, big belly and their blood pressure is high, there's a good chance that this hard, big belly is adding to their blood pressure that's elevated. If their hemoglobin A1C is, which is their blood sugar content is super high and they've got a belly with toxic adipose tissue in it, it's pretty sure that those toxic cells are heading to the pancreas and causing a problem to the muscle cells. In those circumstances, getting the weight down in those areas that are toxic will be beneficial. There's not a doubt it's beneficial regardless of how you do it, whether you do it through diet, medications, surgery, the blood pressure goes down. The hemoglobin A1C goes down. Always the question is, is, is how long does the high blood pressure go down for? If it goes down for six weeks and pops back up, then that is where we're running into problems. And that's where psychological long-term interventions to remind yourself that you're good, 